smile for the camera, Frankie. <laughs> In a video I posted not long ago, I was showing this old bottle opener that I found. And I figured it had said something because it looks like a little speaker on here. And I was assuming that it took a battery, which I hadn't opened it up yet. The other day, my girlfriend is in the kitchen and she's going, what is that sound? What is that sound? She opened the drawer and there was a utensil stuck in between these here and when it makes contact <laughs> it makes the burp fart sound <laughs> so it was in there doing that <laughs> which I thought was pretty hilarious so my ailing old fart I like the foggy mornings like this. The sun rays coming through the trees like that. I like that. Mornings like this, you tend to see more game. You stumble upon them. But you don't see them from afar. Frankie's over there looking for blackberries. He's gonna pick himself a snack. <laughs> There's a moose. Nice bull. Check it out. Oh, yeah, see him? He's over there on the back of the meadow. He's looking right at me. Yeah, that's a nice one. Oh, that was a nice bull. That was a nice one for this area. God, I just love living up here. You never know what you're going to see on the walks. It's always interesting. He's minute. <laughs> He's a tiny one. You don't see him this small too often. He's active though. I always played with these when I was a kid. I don't remember seeing him this small. He's a little guy, but he's active. He's like, what are you doing? He's a new. He's curious about everything. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we'll put him down and go hike. There you go. He's off and running. This gas can's not very old, and the darn cover split. But luckily, in my coffee cans of all my goodies, I go on its gas caps, and we see if we have one that fits. That looks like it might. Well, that doesn't feel right. I think that little thing right there is getting in the way of these things. Instead of cutting those off, I think I'll try and trim that. Let's see. It is new. <laughs> A little beaver activity back in here. That's a sizable lodge. What a peaceful place he has to live here, huh? Oh, I can hear them inside. I'll go, go up closer. The beavers were just vocalizing a little bit. I tried to get closer and they stopped. I know I didn't get any of that on camera. I wish they'd speak up so I could 
film that. I've had some folks asking how the corduroy road has held up. I'll give you a little update on that. I'm happy to report it's doing just great. I'll show you. you know, this area here was like swamp before. It was some of the worst parts of the road. But as you can see, it's held up really good after all this time. I want to show you up here. You can see some of the butt ends of the corduroy there poking through. But the road itself is held up wonderful. Can't argue with that. I get a lot of negative responses on the corduroy road videos where uh, people post that it was a waste of my time and a waste of wood. And should have brought in gravel and I should have brought in crushed stone and all of that. Well, of course, gravel and crushed stone would be wonderful, but it was hard enough getting an ATV back in here. Never mind trying to drive in a dump truck with 20 tons of stone on it. You know, I used what I had on hand and this corduroy method is time tested. I'll tell you, use what I had on hand and it's held up well. See here, you can see a little bit of the corduroy poking through from before. And some down there. A little sinkhole. But aside from that, this is held up really good. This was like a swamp driving through here before. But when I put the corduroy down and then put the sand over it, it worked out great. And it's held up well. And the sections of road that I didn't put corduroy in it, didn't need it at the time and now those are the only bad spots on the road it's amazing cruising along through the water lilies i saw something in the distance that appeared to be a piece of floating trash when i paddled over to pick it up what i thought was trash turned out to be a little treasure nice little reward for me right there I never seen a water lily like that before. That was gorgeous. What a beautiful day to be on the water. <sighs> Man, that's a big nugget. A lot of big nuggets here. All put here by hand at one time. And look at the size of these nuggets. Okay. <laughs> these were stacked up by hand way back in the day when all of this land was cleared. What a different class of people there was back then, huh? What a change in the human race in 200 years. The tenacity the folks had. Nowadays, if people can't do something by pushing buttons or pulling on levers, they don't do it. It just goes to show from all the responses that I get when people see me doing something manually like carrying my buckets of water they all think that I should employ some sort of power pumps and this and that it takes me about 45 seconds to carry 20 gallons of water to the second story and it would take me probably five times longer to get it pumped upstairs and then I'm eating my battery power etc etc I know a lot of folks have good intentions with their suggestions, but I do things my way because I like to keep my strength up, which is very important the older you get. It's pretty hard to maintain any muscle unless you go to a gym, and I don't have time for doing that. So I do things manually, and I enjoy it. I like the physical exercise. But, like I said, the, ch the world's changed a lot in 200 years. I'm just taking a little time out today for myself. I don't even have Frankie with me. It's a breezy day. I'm kicking around the woods. And I don't care how far back in the woods you go, 
there's all these old stone walls out here. I would have liked to see this country back then. Moving up here, chasing this dream is of great magnitude. And there's going to be a lot of things being sacrificed to achieve this. And I know from experience that conquering dreams requires a lot of sacrificing. Sacrificing is what a lot of folks these days don't want to do. They want everything and they want it now. And a lot of times they bury themselves in debt by achieving those things. And they really only take one step forward and like 10 steps back. I don't want to do that. To live up here, since the only access is by snowmobile or ATV, we need a place to park the vehicles in the wintertime. I achieved that, bought that 10 acres. It's 2.2 miles from driveway to driveway. Got that taken care of. Now I need a, a way to keep the driveway open over there. I was going to buy a snow blower, but I'm going to need a shed to put it in. The other day I found a nice plow truck that's going to solve the problem. 2004 Chevy Silverado in excellent shape. It's only got 84,000 miles. Got a Fisher plow on it. I got it for nine grand. Super. I want to get another Polaris Ranger. I'm going to get one with a hard cab, windshield, windshield wiper, heater, defroster. Probably put tracks on it, all of that. I'm going to have that to go in and out. I'm working on that right now. Well, that's about it for now, folks. I'm going to wrap this up, spit this video out, these short random clips. I've got two other videos in the works right now. i got the cabin restoration project number nine coming up. I'm going to do some Q&A, some more random clips. I've got all kinds of stuff to share with you. I just got to find time to edit the footage. Cabin's coming along, slow but sure, but I've been filming the process as I go along. I was hoping to get a video out sooner. I suffered a bit of a setback recently. I've been dealing with intestinal issues for about eight years. Uh, I have uh, various forms of colitis. I've got to do a lot of more testing to find out if I have Crohn's disease or what. And at times it really knocks me down. And this one had me down and out for about 10 days. I got to tell you though, as much agony I was in, the worst part about it was having my project sit dormant for a, that long. But I'm feeling better, back up and running, dropping trees yesterday, working on the cabin, filming the process, and I will get videos out as soon as possible. And I need to because this inactivity has really put a hurting on my YouTube earnings. The earnings are really suffering. I got to get that boosted back up. But I'm going to do the best I can. Keep on keeping on. More videos to come soon. Hopefully, the window between them will become smaller and smaller. <laughs> All the best to you. God bless. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did and you'd like to see more of the cabin life, please click the subscribe button so that you can follow along with future updates. All the best to you and God bless.